It's that time again. Kim D is back. We have a jam-packed episode because not only do we break down what happened on the show this week, Kim has information about Teresa's wedding that she is spilling. In the final hour, I remember I heard from someone this week that works in Teresa's camp and had some things to tell me about Luis. I actually have some my own tea for you guys this week about this. And somehow the conversation turns to filming, and Kim now talks about when she was locked in a room during filming, and producers wouldn't let her leave because they wanted her to fight, and also the scene with her and Joe Gorga where they were fighting. Kim has got some behind-the-scenes production crap that she's spilling here today, too. So let's get right into it. Head on over to Patreon. Here are a few little clips, but it literally, this is a jam-packed episode between what happened and the real life. Oh, and we also talk about Watch What Happens with Countess and Margaret this week. We have a lot to say about that. So I don't know. We have some theories on Andy and all that. So head on over to Patreon, listen to these clips and enjoy. And I told David, let's do this. There's so much to talk about. There's just so much. We got to do this. Okay. If there's so much to talk about, let me start with Marge and Jennifer sitting down. I'm going to get right into it today. Marge and Jennifer sitting down and having coffee. Jennifer has a latte. Marge has a black coffee. Let's talk. Okay, but Marge put the creamer in. I was worried about that. I'm like, wait a minute. Is she just going to drink the coffee black? She did put the creamer in. I would have definitely have had the latte, just so you know. Um, uh, Yeah, it was very interesting. I'm going to give you my take on it. I think the only reason why Jennifer really made up with, I think it was very nice that they did that, but I think the only reason why she made up with, with Marge is because, you know, she, she was almost outcast. The only person she was really talking to was Teresa. You know what I mean? So she's got to start making up with one person at a time. So that's why she did that. You know what I mean? That's, there's no question. That's why she did that. So what you think um, Jennifer woke up and saw like a Danielle stop in her future and said, I ain't getting voted off this show, bitches. Correct. That's, that's what I listen. That's a Kim Dism. That's what I'm thinking right now. She doesn't forgive Marge for what she did. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. But I do believe she had a breakdown moment. And I do believe that, you know, she wanted Marge to see how hurt she was, but you know, she hurt March too in the past. She hurts. We all listen. We've all hurt. We're all flawed. You know, we all, we're all, us nosy people are flawed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> are those your words of wisdom today, Kim? We're just all flawed. I think Jennifer, I feel sorry for her, but I think this whole crying over like, do I leave? Do I stay? That's where I call bullshit, honey. And this is oh, why it's I, bullshit. She she's ain't not nobody. Leaving. No and, way. And that's no, why I, I feel, too. right? And that's kind of why I feel sorry for her. Like, I really feel, I don't think she really wants to leave Bill, but I feel when you feel there's no option to leave, and then that's got to feel awful to any women or man out there that's listening. Like, when you feel trapped in a marriage, to me, that has to be awful. And I really feel... Like, listen, let's go to what's coming out now. Have you seen the press with Luis? Page six. They're dropping like flies. This is how it started with Teresa and Joe. One thing after another. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh, we're not guilty of this. Oh, well. And then all of a sudden, they just, it's like a freaking machine gun. They just kept coming out. And now everyone, because they said this all happened right when he got engaged, when they saw him on TV, what you sent to me, David, about security, that they're going to have security at the reunion. Have Did you, last night's episode, when Teresa stormed Margaret, like Margaret stands toe to toe with her, but that's Teresa. That brings me back to when they, the four of the girls, Danielle Staub, Teresa, um, Melissa, and Mar- Marge came to my fashion show and she was trying to get all in my face. I was sitting down and then I stood up face to face with her, called her trash, but she kept looking to go for that glass. There, he had, she had a drink and it was in the glass. There was no question she was going to throw it at me. And that's when I flipped the chair. I'm like, I don't freaking need this. I don't need to take this shit from this stupid bitch. And I called them all dirty bitches and kicked them out of my show. I don't need it. Like get out. And I got to tell your, your, your viewers that when we went to leave the room, the, the, the um, Bravo people, silent people were blocking the door. They didn't want to let me out. They wanted it to continue. And my friend was a big girl. She kicked the door open. Wait, you mean after that scene where, you know, that infamous When I flipped scene- the chair- when I flipped the chair, called them all dirty bitches, and I'm storming out, they had the door blocked. My friend kicked the door open. 
Yeah, they wanted us to continue to fight. Now, how did they have the door blocked? Was it locked? Was it there a guy standing there? Like, how was it blocked? And Teresa's an animal. She cannot control herself, everyone. She cannot control herself. If I would have let her, she would have thrown the glass, okay? No one's going to throw a glass at me. And even when I was on the stage the last time when I did Clink Clink, I said, listen, because Andy kept looking at me. I'm looking at him like, this Kim D is not going to tolerate this behavior. She's out of, she gets out of her mind. Look at the way she threw Andy, like a rag doll trying to get at Danielle. You think the security is 100% for Teresa? Dolores, yeah. here's the thing. You know how I say here that I'm not scared of anyone and I'll fucking tear everyone to pieces, but I tell right. you that I'm scared of Dolores. Is Dolores scared of fucking Teresa? Look what happened to Jacqueline. Look what happened. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people. Look what happened to Kathy, Rosie. You know, you got, there's a fine line with Teresa. There's a fine line. Like Margaret's holding up the show because she's the only one that got balls enough to go with Teresa and say, listen, She's not, she's going to, she's going to stand up on that couch. When she goes head to head with Margaret, she is going to stand. I know you said you don't agree. I think that Andy loves Teresa. I know you didn't, you don't agree with that. I think last night, and I think, I think, and I'm not nothing against Margaret because she's my friend, but I think Countess Luann, knowing her, was getting a little mad at Margaret. I, I don't want to start any shit. I just got a oh, weird no. vibe. I saw that. She's not worth the shit. You can't fight with an imbecile. She's an imbecile. You can't fight with an imbecile. You can't reach somebody that's gabadosed in her head. You can't reach. What are you going to say? Listen, when you want to fight with Teresa, this is what I would tell anyone. Because I've known Teresa for a long time and we were very close. Go to your nearest, your hardest wall in your house and bang your head three times because that's what fighting with Teresa is. Instead, just bang your head three times. She's going to let it go. And, you know, I, I've been hearing some other rumors. I found out she's getting married. In- and who else? I mean, do we think that Dolores will be invited to this wedding? And then also funny. First of all, I love these guys doing confessionals. Evan's doing a confessional. I, I think it's great. No, I Frank think it's Catania. great too. I love it. The scene where Frank Catania and Dolores and Frank is like, I don't want you to be a slut now. Come on. She's like, Frank, I've never done this. He's like, I don't know. You're 51 now. You might be a slut in your old age. Dolores I is like, what the I fuck are it. you talking about? Yeah, I love it. Like, it you're, really you're the great. fucking slut. It's like, and then he's it doing was, it. Yeah. Yeah, hookers. Remember, she keeps she keeps bringing up the hookers. I mean, he's, he's, he's funny. Frank's funny. Frank is really funny. So we talk more about Teresa's wedding, the dress, what Kim knows, where it's going to be, the month, who's going to be in the wedding party. Kim has a lot to say about this wedding. We talk more about the security. We talk more about Kim's scenes, like when she's talking about the door being locked, and then she has another bit of information about that scene at San Cubano when she was fighting with Joe Gorga, and they were outside, and everyone else was inside. And then at the end, I have a revelation that I actually heard from someone in Teresa's camp that had something to tell me about Luis, which I literally remembered five minutes before we were going to end this whole conversation. So all of that is happening today. Head on over to Patreon. I don't even know what else to say. It's literally a jam-packed episode. So head on over. Happy Saturday and enjoy this episode with Miss Kim D.